Hi students, I'm Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the data flow diagram for online shopping website. And in the last three lectures, we had discussed the DFD for the admin side. But in this lecture, we are discussing the customer side level 0 and level 1 DFD. So my dear students, a data flow diagram is a graphical view of how the data is processed in a system in term of input and output. The data flow diagrams contain some symbols for drawing the data flow of a particular system. The four major symbols used in this DFD includes data flow, process, entity, data store. The data flow are pipelines through the packet of information flow and these data flows are represented by an arrow symbol. Secondly, the process which is a task performed by a system is represented in the diagram by a circle or an ellipse. The third one is entity. Entities are objects of the system that is a source or destination data of a system and these entities are represented by rectangular boxes and the fourth one is data store is the place where data are storing which is represented by two parallel lines. So my dear students, in a data flow diagram, basically we can see these four symbols, data flow with arrow, process which is represented in ellipse, entities represented in rectangle and data stores represented in parallel lines. So my dear students, now we are going to discuss about the data flow diagram for online shopping website. So as we mentioned in our previous lectures, we represent the 0th level DFD with the admin as well as the user as the end entities which are represented in rectangular boxes and the process for this DFD level 0 is online portal that is a website and both the user as well as the admin communicate with this process with some message passing as well as message receiving while expanding the zeroth level of this process the first level dfd at the customer side includes basic five processes a user can search an item in a website so our first process is the search item this search item is marked with 1.0 itinerary so this search item communicate with the item list database or data store. The search item processes communicate to and fro with searching as well as replay messages. So these messages are data flows. A user gives a particular data search input. The process processes this input with the help of the data structure or database using the item list data so second process involved in the first level customer side is a registration process so a customer can order through the website if and only if he is a registered customer that is he has to give his name personal address numbers contact details payment modes etc in the registration format of that particular website so that he can order or place an order and receive that particular product. So these registrations are done with the help of the registration process and the data of the user are stored in user detail data store space. The third process is the login process. Once a user is registered with the website, he can log in into that website and he can conduct the purchasing procedures. So the login details includes the data of the user which are stored in the data store user detail. The fourth process associated with this level 1 customer side is account details. So this account detail holds the user's personal details including his name, email address, phone numbers, addresses, the dispatch locations, etc. So the user can view as well as update his detail. Once he had changed his number or email address, he can update this one or he can change the shipment or the delivery address, etc. So the account detail is 
showing the details of the user as well as a user can update or change the credentials so this account detail is also linking with the data store space user details so my students and the final process associated with the level 1 dfd is the purchase so once a user is registered with the website he is able to purchase that particular product and the purchase product process can be represented by the process purchase and this purchase is associated with the item list data store space so this is the level 1 dfd for the customer side each and every of these individual processes can be expanded into the next level that is the level 2 dfd includes the expansion of the first process search item registration login account detail and the fifth process purchase that is the five different processes shown in this first level dfd can be expanded in the level 2 dfd and we can add more processes as well as more data spaces so my dear students this is how we are representing a level 1 dfd at the customer side of a online shopping website so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment question our assignment question is draw the level 0 and level 1 dfd for banking transaction so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the level 2 dfd of the customer side online shopping portal so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best